Legends speak of a time that Canadera faced the Calamity. Once docile monsters were driven into a violent rage by a mysterious power. Brave heroes assembled to protect the people. After an arduous battle, the monsters were defeated and the mysterious power subsided. People returned to their normal lives and peace was restored. Whispers of the Calamity returning once more, with no heroes remaining to fight against it. What is the cause of this mysterious power? Will Canadera ever be truly at peace? I don't know how to say the name of that town. <laughs> so far. I think the music is uh, got a lot of emotion behind it. West Pawfield. We've been searching for hours and I still can't find the village. I'm so tired. Isn't he adorable? Got a little thing on his head. He's like a Junimo, but with a light. <laughs> Are you sure that Commander Blue gave us the right directions? I'm starting to doubt it. What did we do wrong that would send us so far from the capital, huh? Gosh. That's oh, pretty cute. According to the map, the village should be close, right? By the way, wandering around unfamiliar places is quite dangerous, don't you think? prepared for anything, you know, in case the monsters decide to ambush us. Of course, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. You should equip your weapon before we move on. Alright, press that to open the menu. I have milk, because, you know, the cat needs milk. I think I didn't realize that Kataria stood for, like, kitten. <laughs> or kitty. <laughs> I guess I should have. It's in the logo, right? Sword. Is that equipped? I'm guessing that's equipped. There we go. Oh, it's bigger than me. I look fierce. I got my sword. All set? Good. Let's get moving. somebody. They aren't usually so aggressive toward people. Gosh, that poor kid. What do we do? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're right. We can never abandon something we need. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey, you, over there. Yeah, please, we're talking to you. Didn't your parents ever tell you to come? Others, especially elders and kids. Lots of this far with fights fight back. Like us, right here. <laughs> Shh, I'll draw their attention away from the kid.
Hey kid, are you okay? That was awesome. I've never seen anyone fight like that. <laughs> it's because we've been training for years. Pretty cool though, right? Anyway, we probably should escort you home. It's getting late. Right, Naya? Thank you, kind travelers. I live not far from here. Come on, I'll show you the way. Mucus. That 
this from the goodies. I'll sell it in my gear. Hold the split. Let's get rid of all that. Ooh, look at all the shiny stuff. It's not like I have tools or anything in my head. Locked. Build requirements. Oh, I can repair these chests, I see. They're broken. for 15 pop pennies. Alright, I feel well rested. Where is everybody? goods for the shop. <sighs> when I reached by River Field, I was surprised by a group of orcs, as if they were waiting for me. I was so scared, Chief. I dashed away as quickly as I could before they could get me. <sighs> but I left my bag behind. It was the things you need. Miss Apple and Sage Alby requested. What am I supposed to do? Tis okay, Tim. At least you're not hurt. That is the most important thing right now. Bye. Soldiers, I'm sorry for the sudden request. Would you be willing to help Timmy locate his things? As I mentioned, none of us here can fight, so you are our only hope. Soldiers? You can fight? Please, friends, please help me get my bag back. Alright, Chief, we'll help, help Timmy out. Besides, it's a tad strange that orcs decided to venture outside of their territory. I'm a little uncomfortable. I need to adjust myself. I sure hope it isn't the calamity. We need to determine the cause and report to our commander. Very well. Please always be on guard. I have heard nasty things about these bleeding orcs. Tim, do you have any remaining supplies? Uh, yeah. I still have some croissants on me. Here, please take these. Eating them will replenish your health. Sorry for the trouble, friends. Please, please be careful. Thank you. Please wait for our turn. Okay. 
been right. Oh, there's all sorts of places. So, so there's my farm, Thunderbottom. We started in West Plotfield. And looks like there's all sorts of areas. How big the map is. Okay. Hey, Borg. Can you say Fent Leader? Works to slay. Sorry, little buddy. There's like little stables everywhere. Do I have like a quest marker? I don't know where to go. Strike at your enemies with four frontal thrusts to do a rapid thrust. Okay.
carrot camp. I'm stealing all your carrots. Pop pennies. Ooh. Funny pop pennies. Thanks. Checkpoint. Save checkpoint. Pennies, croissants, checkpoints. Oh my. By Riverfield, here we are. There's the bag. Where's the orcs? It's a croissant, just in case they have big damage. Oh yeah, look at this big bag. <laughs> I like that 
I get my own little bridge to my house. <laughs> Makes me feel special. Okay, should we sell anything? I think the nasty flying bloodsucker <laughs> category miscellaneous, so I don't know what that's going to be used for. Ironstone is probably an upgrade material. Sell these mucus, I guess. I mean, they're so easy to come by. Vines. So I was dropped from the carrot guys. Vengeful soul. Used to create elemental spheres. Miracle fruit. Restore health by 50 points. Wow. Orc token. Orc token with a symbol of the orc tribe. Just to sell those, like, I don't know. I don't sell too much because I don't know what to do with it. I kind of like shop around and see what people use to buy things. It's just kitty coins or whatever. Or it's more than that. I guess we don't need to do that because we're going to fall asleep. entrance to be exact. While you're at it, perhaps you could bring him his package and some stuff he requested from me. Don't lose it, alright? Now, I need to get organized to go deliver some packages myself. If you're ever in need of supplies, don't hesitate to come to my shop. See you again, friends. Okay, so let's, uh, After leaving Paw Village, go to the northwest. The Sage's Cottage is in the forest entrance. I didn't see any cottages when we were out there. Must be further than we went. Miss Apple. Appleberry? Appleberry! <laughs> Guess I've been watching too much Coco Melon. Apple Pie. Complete your favorite dessert quest. Cookie. Mm, I like cookies. Oh, I do need mucus. See, I should have saved it. Oh well. I guess see we'll know that for next time. Make monster pudding with those. Oh hello there. Why aren't you the new villager? My name is Apple. I run Apple's Eatery. If you're ever hungry and need to replenish your energy, feel free to come to me. The thing with Auntie Apple is hard. She always talks too much, but her food is so delicious. Just kind of want to see what's around the village. Welcome to Black Bear Blacksmith. I'm Shamrock. If you need to craft any equipment, you can come and find me here. a lot of works. Glad we didn't sell those. It's crafting material. Okay. Bows. Axe. That's what I'm after. We need to find an axe. We need to get some wood. This is a serious fill. Okay, 
we can plant things with her, but I don't know how to sew soil yet, so till soil. Hello, are you going to fight monsters today? Okay, Gooey's captured. Totally like the slimes from Stardew. Holy bananas, Batman. Be sure to get that chest. Is <laughs> that one behind his house? I can't walk through there. Okay. Oh, my knee. Oh, it's very fabled like now. We have to get certain keys to open certain chests. Hello, do you have a good rest? Take stock to the other villagers if you need something in particular, kid. Always tells us interesting stories, but most of the time Rose isn't interested. Maybe she's tired of hearing them over and over. Okay, I think we explored the town, so let's um, use the portal, I suppose. Northwest. I guess there was a place we could go if we go straight. It's more north, so let's try that first. I don't know you. Go away. Well, he's not very friendly. But you know the village provisioner? He asked us to bring this package to you. We're telling you the truth. Give me the package and leave. Wow, what a nice guy. Are you always this grisly sage? We were told that you would know more about why monsters are becoming more aggressive. I'm sorry if it's rude to bring up why you bring up when we've just met, but you're supposed to have worked at the Royal Academy. Timmy said so. You, of all people, must be very curious about it. We're trying to get as much information as we can to figure out how to deal with it. That's at least what scholars in the city would do. Uh, sorry, we haven't properly introduced ourselves, and here I am questioning you. We're soldiers from the capital city, assigned to protect Pa Village from monsters. I don't trust anyone claiming to be from the capital city. Leave immediately. But why? What happened? As far as I'm aware, the Empire rules well, both the city and the wider territory. Well, sometimes our commanders can be a bit harsh, I won't lie about that. But what they're doing is for the people's sake. 
You are but mere cubs. You cannot understand. The only thing that matters to the Empire is power and how to conquer the world with it. You are their subjects. You say you're here to help us for now, but in the future, who knows? Perhaps they will tell you to arrest someone who defies them. What? Look, Sage, I don't know what ha happened between you and the Empire, but I assure you that our purpose is to protect the people. We promise to maintain peace. If you find out we're lying to you, you can drive us out of here by force. It's the only way, Nyan. Otherwise, he'll never trust us. Why? Why have they sent you here? We don't need any help. We can bear the responsibility of defending the village ourselves. Oh, no you can't. It was Chief Oliver who sent the request to the Royal Guard in the first place. He is worried that people won't be able to live normally if the situation continues. Why were we assigned to this place? Because I lost a bet with Commander Blue. You did what now? I'm joking. Commander Blue thought it might be easier to adapt to the area if we were assigned to a place that her family was from. How I wish Uncle Payne was with us right now so I wouldn't have to deal with this pesky sage. Did you say Payne? You knew Payne the Thunderbum? Oh gosh, why hadn't I thought of that earlier? Yes, we knew him. You didn't know he had a grandchild? Now you'll believe us? Grandchild? You're his grandchild? Me? <laughs> Do I look like Uncle Payne? Was he as round and pink as I am? <laughs> Nianza, of course, though you might notice they're from different species. I assure you they're the same family. Very well. If you are indeed his grandchild, you should have some idea about what happened between us scholars and the Empire. What? We've never heard anything about it. Our commander certainly hasn't told us anything. Do you know anything about it, Nian? Nope. So they haven't told you. Very well. Take this. Ooh, a mysterious book. If you really are Payne's grandchild, you'll know what this is and how to use it. Come back to me once you've figured it out. Now begone. He's a gruff individual. Kind of crotchety. Ugh, an annoying, arrogant sage. Why would he be so rude? Looks like an ordinary book. Any idea what it is? Should we ask Timmy? He may know something. Sure, let's go ask Timmy. Surely. They're no mere rumor, I tell ya. If they were, why would the Empire make some ridiculous law forbidding magic use? Simply owning a spellbook is breaking a law. You could get accused of attempting treason. Don't worry, I'm not going to report you or anything. Besides, you're more likely to report it to your superiors. But I beg you, please don't do that. I knew someone who could perform magic, and he wasn't evil at all. He kept the village safe from monsters after the city decided to abandon Rivera Fortress. I 
That's why I know that magic isn't something to be feared. It's not like what you hear in the city. Um, I don't know if I should tell you much more about it. I suggest you go home and read the book. See if it changes your mind. At least then, if you decide to arrest the owner of the spell book, you know precisely what it contains. Not just because you're following some stupid law. Okay, so... Uh, decision. Did you desire to unleash the power within you? I wish only for your safety, after all. Magic skills unlocked. Skill obtained. Fireball. studying the book, but you fell asleep. Gosh. Huh? Did you have a weird dream? Unleash your power. What power? Perhaps it means... Let's go outside, Nyan. Or are we planning to destroy the roof above our heads? You really are a good for nothing grandchild, aren't you? helped you? No wonder. Still, I'm impressed by your courage. You aren't fully grasping the situation, and yet you continue to press on. Not sure whether that's smart or careless. Very well. 
I'll answer your questions. What do you want to know? I want to know about everything. <laughs> it started a long time ago. Cano Adera is a peaceful continent thanks to a great king, Leonidas. I can't say any of these names. The king tried the best to maintain the harmony between his people and the monsters who lived in the wilderness around them. Of course, some monsters simply aren't peaceful, such as orcs and hyenas. They're very territorial and will attack anyone who dares trespass in their homes. Leave them alone, and they are fine. But one day, <coughs> excuse me, monsters began to act viciously for seemingly no reason. We call this phenomena the Calamity. Townspeople started to fear for their safety, and yet the person who held the throne at that time, King Leonidas, successor, didn't seem to care. Thus, the scholars at the Royal Academy worked day and night to find the cause. It led us to discover that monsters are somewhat affected by mysterious relics. These relics were discovered inside dungeon ruins during an academy expedition, though we still have no idea about their origin or power. The calamity was supposed to have ended at that time, and yet here we are, facing the same problem years later. There is one thing that I know for sure. We must retrieve the relics, no matter what. The problem we now face is that there are no magic wielders remaining, as far as I know. You must be familiar with the anti-magic laws the Empire has imposed. Magic use was banned shortly after they succeeded in defeating the monster uprising. <clears throat> There's no time. We need to move quickly. I still don't trust you completely, but you are the most suitable person to bear this task. We must gather the relics. Do you have the courage for this quest? Hell yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Allow me to explain what you need to do. We need to retrieve the ancient relics. My colleagues sealed them away within several dungeons. To avoid discovery, they decided not to disclose their whereabouts. I believe that there's a dungeon nearby. That's where we should begin the search. Before you go, you must remember the most important thing. Do not let anyone else know about this, not even your superiors. Everything we discussed in this cottage, you must keep to yourself. It will be dangerous for you, me, and the entire village if anyone associated with the Empire were to find out about this. We must be careful. Your safety is our utmost priority after all. We don't want to lose our only hope of restoring peace, now do we? Good luck. <laughs> Fire magic. Oh, that's cool. So you can like sign stuff here. Water magic, earth magic, wind magic. <laughs> Can we open this chest? Alright, so it's our new quest. Head to River Cave in Westpaw Field. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't have any water up here, which sucks. <laughs> Monsters in this dungeon are stronger than those outside. Do you think we'll find an ancient relic in here? What if we've been tricked and die in vain? No, 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 no. I won't let that happen. We need to survive, Nyan, and show the sage that we're capable of this task. Good pep talk. Have a 
ranged attack now. right over here. I wonder if it's blue now. Yeah, so you have to defeat all the monsters on the floor up here. Here we can proceed. The music's pretty good in here. It's like got a nice creepy vibe. a reason to explore. It's always something I really enjoy in any game I play. find keys throughout the game, but they're just usually, you know, I need 50 silver keys for this chest. Maybe need a, a different key for this chest. But you have to, like, come back to the areas to open them and kind of remember mentally, like, there was those chests that required that key, so you can go back and get them. I always thought that was a, a cool part of Fable. It was one of my favorite things to do, is find keys. 
It's rather quiet here. Mm. That's strange. So I really like that element of this game. I think that's cool. Something's here. Get ready. Defeat the river dungeon boss. So we got a portal in case we die, it looks like. Oh, he's mean looking. You're not <laughs> trying to die. Have some of that. guardian like this. We should ask the sage about it. Anyway, let's retrieve the relic and get out of here quickly, Nyan. Sounds like a plan to me. A copper key. Oh, we can open some of the chests we've seen. And 200 paw pennies. I feel like the wall's gonna start chanting fire and stuff. saw a second one. I don't remember where that second one was. I want to go to that before we go see the lobby. Three silver ingots. It took a copper key. Does that mean I only get one? It's not like usable on all the chests I find. I just get one key and then it's gone. Get consumable. Because that's what's that's the case. <laughs> I was thinking, like, oh, you find one and you get to just use it wherever. Uh, maybe that's not true. Because it almost looked like it took it by saying copper key minus one. Um, must be lots of keys to find if that's the case, so. Yeah, which definitely gives some inspiration. relic in the river cave? I must say, I'm quite impressed to see you safely return with the relic. For someone relatively new to magic, you're doing a good job. It really runs in the family, huh? 500 paw pennies. You can rest for now. I'll let you know when I have some new information about relics. If you wish to learn some new spells, you can use my magic cauldron. It functions the same as a spellbook. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to gather more information regarding the relics. Sage finally recognized our abilities. Now he knows you're not just an ordinary soldier. Are you curious about what happened between the magic wielders and the Empire? They don't seem to be on good terms. It would be great if we could meet the real magic wielder. Of course, Uncle Payne doesn't count since he never said anything about it, never practiced in front of us either. Maybe we should ask the Sage about it next time. Are you tired? I'm exhausted. Taking a break won't hurt, right? Let's head home and rest up. I can sense a whole heap of tasks coming our way. We should be ready. <laughs> what is it, Chief? Did something happen? Do you need our help? Hello, young soldiers. Are you doing well here? Oh no, to something like that, I've come to give you some help. Nah. The areas around the village are teeming with monsters, of course. 
If you need some supplies to replenish your health after a fight, you can buy them from the village provisioner. Our cook, Miss Apple, makes delicious dishes if you bring her the right ingredients. You need to use them only to replenish health. Selling these dishes at the farm is a way to replenish your pennies as well. Please also visit our beloved blacksmith, Shamrock. He's very passionate about his work and loves to help adventurers craft new equipment. Oh, that sounds great. What do we need to do to craft new equipment, Chief? First, pay a visit to Shamrock and see what materials he requires. After that, you'll have to find those materials and bring them back to him. The most common way to get materials is by defeating monsters. If you have excess materials or items you do not need, you can put them inside the settlement box. I'll arrange the trade for you and deposit the pennies in the morning. Remember to visit the shops before selling your materials here. You don't want to accidentally throw away some materials you need now, do you? Well, been there, done that. How thoughtful, Chief. Thank you so much. Did you know that your grandfather was an accomplished farmer? <laughs> really? We never knew. Oh, yes, he was quite the farmer. He has taken much inspiration from him. She's the villager's only remaining farmer and seed seller. You should pay her a visit. She'll be very happy to share something she knows about farming. Perhaps she'll help you to fix up the farm a bit. Well, that's all I wanted to say. I apologize if I've been taking for, talking for too long, kids. I hope I didn't miss anything. Rest well, young soldiers. I feel like 
the portal could take us shorter. So we'll go to West Paw and then go south.
But what do you guys think? Did you uh, enjoy this so far? And would this be a game that you're going to be interested in picking up? I think I'm definitely going to be checking it out when it releases. I, uh, I get good vibes from this one and <laughs> uh, excited to see what they do with it. I feel like it's it's maybe like a, a Stardew Valley mixed with an RPG, and I think that's a pretty cool aspect. Or I guess an RPG mixed with Stardew Valley. I, mean, I guess you could look at it either way. It feels like it has more of the RPG aspect in that you're fighting monsters and exploring more than, you know, farming simulator. I think farming might be a secondary thing in this game, so that should be really interesting to see uh, what is predominant once the game comes out, but I feel like it's got a lot of potential. Okay, where's the farm? Now? Hello there, you look like you might be a good farmer. You never tried it? But I heard that your uncle paints relative. He was the best farmer around. Give it a go. I can provide you with the best seeds. Good answer. I bet you'll be doing great in no time. Here's some carrot seeds to start. I won't mind if you take your time growing them. Just make sure to report back to me after the first harvest, okay? You still have your grandfather's old tools, don't you? You can use them to tend to the farm. Good luck! My inventory is very full. full. <laughs> Let's go sell some stuff. Where can we drop stuff off in this chest? Thank you. 
can equip it to a slot. Here we go. That'll be better. Okay. There we go. done the main story so I feel like you know there's gonna be more farming and uh, upgrades and stuff to do but I, I don't really want to grind through them considering we can't really progress in the story at this point so I think we got a good gist of the game and I'm really excited about this one so if you want to try this demo out yourself you can download it from the Steam store it's currently available and uh, I can't remember the date on when this game comes out but I'll get it up on screen here uh, so you guys can check it out for the final release date so we can all keep an eye on that because definitely going to be playing more of this one. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video of Kataria Fables demo and if you did please like and share with your friends. It helps the channel grow a lot. Also subscribe if you want to see more of my content. I do lots of gaming tutorials, game demos, uh, live let's plays, and relaxing plays with no commentary. Um, much a variety of things, but my bread and butter is clear and focused gaming tutorials, so I hope you'll check a lot of those out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again next time. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter at SatoshiGamingTV. Talk to you guys later. Bye.